Alright guys, welcome to another beer review, and uh, today we're going over to uh, a brewery that I've not tried anything of uh, before, and heard really good things about, and uh, it's also a style that I've not had for quite a while, to be honest. So we're going over to uh, Untitled Art over in uh, Wanakee, Wisconsin. And uh, this is brewed in collaboration with Jackie O's, and it's called the Barley Shake, which is, I believe, a barley wine. Clocking in at 12% ABV, uh, it's got the usual, you know, uh, government warnings on there. Uh, talks about how it can refund it and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, a barley shake, so I think it's a bit of a creamier than usual barley wine, I'm not too sure. But one thing is for certain, it's got absolutely gorgeous artwork. It's got that sort of like unfinished, um, yeah, let's just leave it as it is sort of painting. And then you've got a lovely label on the neck. So uh, yeah, a really intriguing American collaboration. And uh, there is a really nice crown as well. I got this from the October McKellar Beer Club box. So referral link is down below. And uh, yeah. So I think I have had like one Jackie O's beer and it was a collaboration with someone, I can't really remember to be honest. Uh, it was quite a while ago and it's been, definitely been a while ago since I've had a barley wine. Um, I can't even remember the last barley wine that I had to be honest. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm off for a good few days now so I thought I'd kick things off and have a couple of beers. And I've actually got my two old... Uh, beer advent calendar so I'm getting started on that early so I can get it uploaded to YouTube. Uh, way to put a date on your video by the way Peter. But uh, yeah so very interested to check this one out. Barley wine is a style that I've tried every so often uh, throughout the years but not had too many. But the ones I have had have been really interesting. I don't think I've actually had a bad barley wine but then again I don't think I've had enough to experience um, a bad barley wine at this point. Uh, I'll tell you who makes good barley wines. Uh, Germany. The German craft brewers make some really fantastic ones. Um, the one that stands out to me was um, the one that Crew Republic did. I can't remember what it's called. I think it was called Rest in Peace. And I think I also had another one that they did as well, but I can't remember. And I think Hans Craft & Co. did one that I had. So I've had a few, and they have been really interesting. But uh, yeah, it's an acquired taste, I find, with barley wines. Um, you've got to be really in the mood for them. I think the, the ABV sometimes dictates that. But uh, anyway, let's stop rambling on and let's get a look at the beer. So uh, yeah, as you'd expect, very malty looking. Uh, it got some nice reddish hues there. It's almost got like a cranberry juice look to it. Or a little bit of an overly diluted Ribena. That's uh, a weird way to describe the look of the beer. Uh, head pretty much dissipated quite quickly. You've just got the remnants of a very pale beige head. Uh, it's got a very subtle haziness to it, I would say. Um, it's definitely got that sort of like unfiltered look, but it's not hazy. I don't know if you'd really expect a barley wine to be hazy. But um, yeah, it's looking really nice and inviting. It almost reminds me of like a British strong ale. Alright, so let's give it a bit of a swirl without spilling it, because just pour it straight into the glass. Oh, that is very sticky, fruity, like, loads of, like, steeped berries, Christmas pudding. Not really a cakiness to it, though. It's all about those sort of, like, fermented fruit aromas. Has that almost, um, I get this quite a lot. Um, with beers like this, not just barley wines, but almost has that sort of like sweet cooking sherry aroma to it. But there's really no alcohol presence. Maybe a subtle hint of like a brandy, almost like a brandy barrel, because there's a little bit of a spicy woodiness in there also. Be a very sticky, dense, sweet sort of beer. Lovely malt build on the nose. Anyway, it smells really intriguing. Uh, it's not potent or anything like that. It's actually really a quite, quite nice and mellow beer by all accounts. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oof. 
Oh, that's sweet. That is very sweet. I'm not too sure if they brewed it with vanilla, but I'm getting vanilla by the bucket load in this. It's got that sort of like, it's not a heavy mouthfeel, but the body's got so much texture to it, but it's not really velvety or creamy. But it's, it almost feels like it's sliding down, because there's very, very gentle carbonation on this. See, it starts off really subtle. So the initial flavours are really, like, muted, laid back. And then you just get this big rush of, like, an, a sticky, sweet, malty flavour. But that being said, looking around to find my Xbox One control, because uh, that's... You are resting against my Xbox, because I don't want it to go idle, because it's a pain in the arse when it does that. But, um... Yeah, it's it's very very sticky sweet. Really like going back to the cooking sherry. It's got a really big sherry character. Then you get a muskiness on the back end almost. A little bit woody as well. Yeah, the only reason why you're gonna take your time with this. Well, there's two reasons why. The body, it lingers, it sticks to your insides. It'll put the hairs on your chest, that's for sure. But also because it is very sweet. It is a very, very sweet beer. Um, it's not like any barley wine that I've had before, so I'm sure they've done something different to it than a usual barley wine. I'm sure there are some twists and adjuncts in there, but I'm definitely getting loads of vanilla. There's a bit of a sort of like cinnamon sugar flavour as well. Sort of like um, the glaze that you get on cinnamon swirls, or cinnamon rolls, however you want to call them. Cinnabons and that sort of stuff. So yeah, it, it, it would go really well alongside it like a really nice cakey sticky chewy fluffy cake <laughs> beautiful beautiful flavor tone but yeah it's it's not drinking like 12 percent beer at all but yeah that the malt flavors are really really nice if you love the flavor of a nice sweet malt you're gonna really enjoy this it's like a malt drink which i suppose what a barley wine is essentially it's like a like a malted drink, but with a big kick to it. And something that you drink at the end of the night, even though this is the first beer of the night. Not going to lie. Um, I had to have another barley wine from uh, Weird Beard, but I don't know if I should uh, tuck into that one. Because I've got a feeling these are the sorts of beers that you don't feel it at first, but then next thing you know, you're slurring your words and you want to sit down and you want... You just want to go to sleep, and the people out there are just who I hate, and I just love you all. And it's you know, it's one of those beers. And next thing you know, you're vomiting at four o'clock in the morning on yourself while you're asleep. There's a stranger in your bed who's handcuffed, and there's uh, a suspicious brown stains on the wall. I'll never forget that weekend. Anyway, yeah, this is a lovely beer. Um, it really, really is. If you like your barley wines, I think you'll really like this. Um, that being said, I don't know if how true to, like, a traditional, like... This is the staple of a barley wine. I don't know how that will compare to it, just because, I'm not going to lie, I've had relatively small experience uh, with barley wines. But the ones I have had have been really nice, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, not something that I would drink regularly, um... In fact, part of me is thinking now, because I'm going to uh, Blue Nose Beer Reviews this weekend with Dean. Probably should have saved that so we could have shared it, which I'll probably end up taking that with me instead, actually. But then again, do I want to be able to ship through the Ivor Needle? I don't know, because that's pretty much how my hangovers turn out to be. Anyway, so, the barley shake. Um... Vanilla shake, sort of, almost. I don't know. Palmy was expected to have a bit more of a density 
to it in the body. Um, but I didn't do any research on it. The only thing I've seen was on the McKellar Beer Club unboxing video that they do to show you what beers you get in that month. And uh, I can't remember how they described it. And I'm sure they were telling me, tell, telling me, yeah, they made a video specifically for me. Frank got in front of camera and just made a video for Peter. Um, but yeah, there's something about it that I can't put my finger on. And I think it's because they've added stuff to it. So they've done it, something a little bit interesting. And let's face it, do you really think two breweries like Untitled Art and Jackie O's would just make a basic barley wine? Give me a break. Get out of town. Uh, they hate people who talk like that. Frankly, they're few and far between, but there are people who do talk like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, in terms of rating, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. Not completely my thing to my tastes, but... It's nice. It's almost like a. I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's got like a sort of confectionery edge to it, like um, a cheap one penny sweets, because it is sweet. It's not just like dense brown malty sweetness. There is like this sort of like sugary sweetness as well. So I think Paul might like this from Pierre Brew News. Maybe Matt from Massive Beer Reviews might like this, but for me. It's not ticking all the boxes. Um, it's really nice, really well brewed, but uh, I think my lack of experience with the style, he says over 800 beer reviews in. That's ridiculous, isn't it? But yeah, nice beer. So check out the breweries involved. Uh, of course, check out McKellar and the McKellar Beer Club. Um, as well as the beer mail, so uh, referral link is down below. Uh, of course, the information in the description will actually give you all of the information, because I'm sure I've missed a hell of a lot off about this beer. But, um, yeah, would I get again? Probably. Um, just to maybe a few barley wines in the future come back to a beer like that. <coughs> but I'm definitely going to enjoy the rest of it. And... Uh, I don't know what to have next. Maybe an Imperial Stout. Maybe a, a Pale Ale. We shall see how it goes. But start off big. And uh, become a crying child the following day. If any of my friends are pal beer tubers have reviewed this one. The links will be down below. Thank you for watching. And hopefully you'll join me next time for another beer review. See you guys later. And you all take care.